Welcome back friends, Mark P. Otter here with a new cover song for you. I'm going to do my own version of Locomotive Breath by Jethro Tull. Jethro Tull has long been one of my favorite bands and they are the reason why I wanted to play the flute at a very young age. So let's take a look at some of the recording process that goes on and some of the instruments that went into making my version of Locomotive Breath. In my opinion, the bass guitar plays a very important role in the song Locomotive Breath, so I decided to keep my bass playing as close as possible to the studio recording. This happens to be another one of those songs where the lowest note you will play on the bass guitar is a G, third fret of the low E string. The obvious root movement that you hear in the guitars is E, 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 G, D, E. However, the bass, it starts not on an E, but on the B. So he's going to play B, 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 then G, but it's a low G, and then the D, and then the E. However, the real fun in the bass part is that constant sliding of the nose, which is very rough on your skin when you have round wound strings. You really should have flat wound strings to play this. And go down about three frets seems to make the right sound. Try to keep maintaining contact. This was the hardest part for me. As you go down and back up. Put it together and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. This is me setting up my guitar amp for recording. Recording the rhythm guitar part for Locomotive Breath, I used to play the rhythm guitar part with power chords like this. Listening to the song a little more in depth, I noticed that the rhythm guitar part is much more simple. This is a wooden pick from Thalia. The wooden pick increases that edgy scratch sound you hear. During the instrumental section of this song, I decided to change things up a little bit and do a mashup of two other Jethro Tull songs, Teacher and Thick as a Brick, and let's record those guitars now. to do in this section of the song is to have a flute solo but also to have this electric guitar kind of join in and just really mix things up <laughs> Thank you. 
most of that is going to be the keeper. Most. In the Jethro Tull version of Locomotive Breath, there is this interesting buzzy sound that occurs roughly halfway through the song. You hear this. I'm not even sure what instrument or how they made that sound. So I thought for my idea covering the song, I'm going to try to do a buzzy guitar sound. I have humbucker pickups, but I chose to just use single coil. I think it cuts a little bit cleaner, right? It's an oxymoron, clean distortion. Unlike all the other guitar parts that I did in one or two takes, this one took me well over an hour, over and over again to get it right. For you guitar geeks out there that want to learn how to do this, check this out. We have the low E and B. Then you go up three frets using your second and fourth finger. Then back down. Now on the bottom two strings, second and fourth finger. And the low B and F sharp. Then you have to go back to E and B. And that's where this thumb becomes important to mute the bottom string. So you put it together. One more time. And faster. All right, so that's all for part one of Locomotive Breath. Please join me for part two when I record the piano, the vocals, and the flute.